so far we've put a lot of effort into creating a blank page. Essentially, if I press the W key, that's what we have. But all good projects start with a good plan. You don't construct a building without architects CAD plans. You don't create a car without engineering plans. Everything starts with a consistent grid and a structure. Now this is ideal for blank pages in your publication. There will be some no doubt where you don't want to have any writing on for page numbers or headings and things like that. Maybe you just want to have a full bleed image on all edges and you maybe still want to be able to utilize the grid system. That's great. So rather than having to create all this all over again, what we can do is go to our master page called a structure, right click on it and then choose new master. This will be given a prefix of B, which I'm going to leave, but I'm going to change the name. I'm going to call this numbers. Now, if I leave all the other options as they are, we won't have any grid system on it. I can though choose based on master. So yes, create me a new B master page called numbers, but include everything that's on the A structure master page and then click OK. It will then highlight that B numbers in the pages panel. And also at the very bottom left hand side of InDesign, it tells me that this is the page that we're looking at now, B numbers. And so the way it works now is that if you were to add anything onto A structure, it would also appear on B numbers. Notice that this master page has two capital A's shown in the corners of its page thumbnail. If I was to very quickly just jump back to A structure and then pick up a shape, give it a nice prominent color and then make sure I'm on my images layer and just drag and drop this in here like so. Having added that to my A structure master page, take a look at what happens when I double left click on B numbers. I'm now on the B numbers master page and here I can't click on it because it's on the other master page, but that has come through. So there is a kind of a parent child relationship working here. A structure is the parent and B numbers, its child has inherited all of its characteristics, but it doesn't work the opposite way around. We can add things to B numbers, the master page that will not affect the A structure master page. So if I hover over and double left click on a structure, Go back over here, click on the shape and delete it. You'll notice now when I go back to B numbers, that edit has been updated. So if I right click on the master page, B numbers, go down to page attributes, color label. I'm going to color this one light blue. So again, I can differentiate between the color tagging on the pages. And then if I pick up my zoom tool, I'm going to zoom in to the lower left side of the left hand side page, pick up my type tool and then just make sure I left click on the layer called text and then hover over the corner where the margin lines meet, click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down. I'm going to drag across, you know, giving this, um, well, sort of four columns width and then I'll go down right to the edge of the page. I'm then going to go up to the type menu go down to insert special character markers, current page number. When I left click on that, it inserts a letter B and that's because, well, this isn't a numbered page. It's the B master. So this is just a placeholder. I'm going to press the space bar. Then I'm going to insert dividing line, another space, and then a generic title for my magazine name in here. From here, I can triple left click to select everything in that line, including the placeholder character. And I'm going to change this to Futura. I'm going to make this really small. So seven points. And then instead of a line left, I'm going to choose a line away from spine. When I click on that one, I'm then going to hit the escape key of the keyboard. Now at this point, obviously that text runs right next to where potentially some of the body copy could be, but not a problem because if I go to object and choose text frame options, I can go to vertical justification and have this text set to center. So it will be equidistance between where the body copy finishes and where the edge of the trim page is. And then I'll click okay. 
I'll go to edit and choose copy, drag the scroll bar across to the far right hand side page, edit, paste, and just drag that into position like so. Notice if I double left click in that text, because it's set to a line away from spine, it works well on the right hand side page as well. Hit the escape key and then go to view, fit spreading window. And there we go. We now have a master page, which is completely blank in the form of a structure. And we now have a master page called B numbers. So we have a choice of where we wish to apply this. If I go to pages two to three and double left click, that clearly, as you can see by the color tagging, is using the A structure master page. But if I hover over the one called B numbers and right click, I can choose apply master to pages. It will then double check. Ah, oh, right. So you want to apply the B numbers master page to, and then type in your pages. So two to three in here, just for the moment to show you. When I click OK, notice that that numbering appears down at the bottom here and it's color tagged those two pages of pages two to three with that light blue. Now the only thing I'm noticing now is of course that the number should really be on the outside uh, on the right hand side page. So you notice that I can't click on that because it's part of the master page. It would defeat the object if you could click on things on a master page because they exist on the master for consistency. So you can't change the layout of them. But if I hover my cursor over B numbers and double left click, I'll pick up my zoom tool, zoom into that region, switch to my selection tool by tapping V and then I can swipe over that, cut that, paste over here, get rid of those characters, space, dividing line and another space. When I hit the escape key, I can go back to pages two to three. Notice my numbers on the outside, view, fit spreading window. So that's how you create dynamic numbers and how you separate them onto a new master page. So that should you need a blank page, your original A master page will work in that scenario. But we've also borrowed that grid system from the A master and added it to a child master page called B numbers.